welcome back to my channel I know this is a little bit different background right this second but we are going to be doing this summer peachy vibes look and also if you are new to my channel then welcome I would like to introduce myself I am Stephanie I do all things beautiful hair nails makeup get ready with me get unready with me shop with me all that good stuff if you would like more of that content just make sure to go hit that subscribe button I do load three brand new videos every new week and with no further ado let's get into this beautiful summer peachy vibes look so hey guys to start off this video i am going to go ahead you see i have my peachy shirt on to keep up with this peach theme but i am going to go ahead and prime my face with this neutrogena primer this is the dewy one but it's oil free so I'm not sure how this works but it does make my skin look nice and it's not got any glitter or any shimmer anything in it and honestly I'm not really positive on how dewy this makes my skin look but it does make my foundation sit very nicely on top of it so I do appreciate that but as you can see it does give a slight glow but nothing like too crazy or anything so you can see right there a little bit of dew not too much but I'm going to go in with my Hard Candy. This is the Blur Stick Primer. It is like a glue stick and you just rub it over your face wherever you like. I do like to use this in my T-zone. I don't normally use this, but I felt like using it today just to switch things up. And I do like this product. I do find that it does fill in my pores. Not as much as my Dr. Brent pores no more, but still pretty good for the price this is my sigma f80 foundation brush and i did just wash it i am using the catrice true skin foundation it is in the shade 04 neutral i did do about a pump and a half these are really large pumps so i honestly think one pump is like two pumps of every other foundation i have and i am using this brush damp which i find actually helps a lot with my larger pores and my textured skin instead of using a dry brush I will wash this brush and wring it out you know with a napkin or towel or something like that but using it damp really does help the foundation just like a damp sponge so I have really been loving using this brush right after I wash it and it just literally melts the product into the skin as you can see here, I am taking my time. That's why I did speed this up. Just to really buff this in the skin and make it look very flawless. And it gives me high, medium to full coverage. I'm not going to build any foundation up today. I do feel very confident with the coverage that I have right now. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Moving on to concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. I have been enjoying using this just going to put a little bit underneath the eye and a little bit up on the corners of the eye down the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow and in between my brows just to keep things highlighted that is the elf camo concealer sponge i do like it it is little and it fits in all the areas that i need it to so I'm just gonna tap that down the bridge of my nose and I am using this sponge dry. Believe it or not, I have been liking to use this dry and not wet. I do feel like using it damp takes a little bit more of the coverage of my concealer. And when I use it dry, I get the same beautiful airbrush effect, but more coverage, if that made sense. So you can see right there how very beautiful and flawless my under eye looks and how bright it is compared to the other side already so just gonna go ahead and do the other side I do like to use this also dampen but when I used it wet one day I was like wow this really made my concealer look very beautiful and 
I also didn't take any of the coverage away. And as you can see, we're going for the lifted effect. That's why I did put a little bit up there. Going in with my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder, which is one of my favorite powders. And just going to set the entire face with this today. I do use my Patrick Star Translucent Powder like repetitively. So just really felt like switching it up. And this is also a product that is super good, affordable, and very beautiful. So I wanted to go ahead and use this, show it some love today. Just going to lightly set my face with that. I did really quickly show my NARS Laguna Bronzer. That is what I am using to warm up the face, you guys. Just going to put this in the hollows of my cheeks, around the perimeter of my face, my forehead, my jawline, etc, etc. This bronzer really does make it look like you have been at the beach. So going in with, with my Milani highlighter, just going to put that all over the high points of my face, Cupid's bow. Obviously the tops of my cheekbones, over my brow. I am going to put a little bit on my forehead also, just wherever I want that glow. Really wherever the natural sun would hit my face. And then going to go in with the ColourPop Baby Got Peach because it is all about the summer peach vibes today, you guys. Going in with the lightest shade in the top row and just going to throw that in the crease of my eye as my transition shade. That is a Sigma fluffy brush I am using. And I'm not doing anything sharp on the edge, so we did not use any tape or anything like that. Just literally throwing this in the crease. I like to build on the eyeshadows. I never put a dark color on first and just start blending out unless I'm doing like a smoky eye. And today I'm not doing that. So I'm going to go in with that peach darker shade right at the bottom. And also just going to start on the outer portion of my eye and kind of drag it down and then sweep it over. And then I'm going to just really start buffing and blending in. And same thing with the other eye. Sweep motion down and buff and blend in. Just building on that peach color. And these ColourPop eyeshadows and these palettes are really pigmented. They're soft. They don't have too much kickback, if any at all. Really enjoy using the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes no matter what palette it is. I find that they are very consistent and very pigmented and buttery soft smooth and love using them so just going to run that underneath the lash line you guys and then going to go in with that middle shade right there and this flat shade of brush just a little side note this color this specific color in this palette says not to use it on your eyelid now that always has confused me because this is a eyeshadow palette this is not a eye and blush palette or eye and highlighter this is literally a nine pan eyeshadow palette so i am always confused about not putting that color on the lid because why is it in an eyeshadow palette but today i'm not worried about that i am feeling that color and i'm going to use it because i purchased it so Gonna go in with that bottom gold shimmer shade right there and use that as my brow bone highlight. This is perfect for this look because this does have a peachy tone to it even though this is a champagne gold looking highlight. So love using this right now for this brow bone highlight you guys. It is beautiful and ties in really well with the eye look. Next, going to go in with this gold peachy shade in the middle row, and I'm going to use my finger because, in my opinion, you guys, the best tool for any glitter or shimmer eyeshadow is literally your finger. I honestly don't like to use a brush for that. Sometimes it's a little hard for me just because of my nails, but we are going to work through that. Just going to take a spoolie and quickly brush through, the, <laughs> through my brows. That right there is the Stila eyeshadow that I did pick up at my local TJ Maxx for $5.99, I believe. But just thought this was perfect for this peach eye look because this shadow is actually peach undertone. So just going to take that small flat shader brush and really marry the two colors together. I don't want any harsh lines or edges or anything like that. And I feel like I have more control doing that with a little brush. Going to go back in with that middle shade right there and pat right in the middle. 
just to marry the two colors together as you can see it looks like it's ombre from one side to the other and that is the look that i am going for and to me looks very beautiful so just going to run that on the bottom lash line going to go in with my kvd liner right here and you guys it is hard for me to do liquid liner on camera but i am going to make it work it's kind of hard for me to stay in focus with the camera because i have to look down in the mirror but also stay in camera view so honestly don't like doing my liner on camera but we are going to make this work today and actually the kvd or the nyx uh, matte liquid liner they're different but they are really easy to use and honestly don't know which one i like better i go back and forth using either one they are so good and the nyx one is actually a lot more affordable of course it is drugstore but i still always repurchase my kvd liner because it is just that good you guys so just going to speed up my right eye which would be your left keep things moving so just going to hurry up and do that eye there going to go in with my pure cosmetics fully charged mascara and we are going to do probably about three good coats of this so also just going to speed through this because this is nothing fantastic or anything like that this mascara here i find separates your lashes really well um i don't layer usually with this mascara um, but you can let this mascara totally dry and go back and put more coats and it doesn't clump like I think that is so amazing Most mascaras even on the packaging says do not let dry But this one doesn't matter and as you can see no matter how many Layers I'm putting on my lashes are not looking spidery at all And I am going to coat the bottom lashes with that same mascara a Little bit more on the top just because like I said, it doesn't clump and it's really good mascara going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics lip liner that is in the shade Bare. And I will leave everything that I have used on my face today with the colors and the products and all that good stuff in the description box down below, you guys. So no worries. Going to go in with my KVD. This is a, I think this is a matte liquid lip. I'm pretty sure yeah I think this is a matte liquid lip but it is very peach and very beautiful so right along with the color scheme then gonna go in with my ColourPop Lux lip oil you guys these lip oils are so good they are not thick but they are not too thin they are not sticky they stay on a really good really good time to be a lip oil so that color there says peachy keen not sure if you can see that but going to go in now with my wet and wild this is the fm spray and it's kind of got on my nerves i'm going to be straight up honest here this spray when i pushed it down got stuck every time i had to keep pulling it up so i'm pretty sure it's just this one because i have other sprays from wet and wild that don't do that just going to take my elf camo concealer sponge make sure everything's set down and voila you guys so i hope you enjoyed this video this is the final summer peachy vibes look i love how it turned out it is so beautiful it's glowing skin and peach everything eyes and lips and as always i will see you in my next video you guys